Okay, uh, welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about stationary points. So this is one of the biggest things in calculus and why we use dydx. Most of the time, we calculate stationary points. Okay, so I'm just going to go through other words for stationary points. They can call them local maximums or local minimums. So that's just max and min here for shorthand, or else the turning point. Okay, stationary point, local max, local min, turning point, they're all the same thing. Okay, so I'll just draw some examples here. We're going to have our u and then our n. Okay, so if you want, you can draw your axis there as well. Little arrows, and then like this. Okay, so there's our curve, there's our axis, or whatever. Um, the local maximum here is going to be this point. Okay, so it's where the curve is at a maximum, and the local minimum here is going to be here because that's at a minimum. Does that make sense? Yeah. So important thing is there's no local minimum for this curve here for an end end shape. Because just this just keeps going on down and down and down forever. So there's no minimum really. It did. It doesn't stop going down. The same here. There's no maximum. It keeps going up and up and up and up. There's only a minimum. Does that make sense? So just keep that in mind. And uh, there isn't always a maximum or a minimum. Okay. And the reason we call them turning points. So obviously you can see here it turns. Yeah. And then it turns. Yes. Yeah, so it's going down and it goes up. And the reason we call them a stationary point then is because this little trick here. So. So I have that axis wonky, but the idea is that should be a tangent that hits the curve. That one's a little bit better, okay? So forget about the first red line there. That's a tangent that hits the curve at only that point there, only at the minimum. And this thing is the same as well. This here, okay? So we know that a line that is flat or parallel, so I know that's angled up a little bit, but that's because the axis are a bit messed up. That if it's flat and if it's parallel to the x-axis, then the slope is equal to zero, okay? And the slope here again of this line is gonna be equal to zero. So that means the dy dx is gonna be equal to zero, okay? And this is basically the rule we're always gonna use at turning, turning, okay? I've made a mistake there, obviously. Just excuse that. Um, at turning, and I'm gonna say slash, stationary points okay so remember that rule that's the most important rule that dy dx is equal to zero at turning your stationary points okay so we're going to look at an example now and we're going to use this to find the, the turning point or the stationary point of the curve so the curve we're going to get is I'm going to green here y is equal to 3x squared minus 6x plus 10 and it finds it says find the turning of the stationary point so we're going to say if y is equal to this then our dy dx is equal to 6x minus 6 and we're also going to say because we want to find the turning of the stationary point we're going to let this equal to 0 okay we'll drop down here 6x minus 6 is equal to 0 that means 6x is equal to 6 and x is equal to 1. So there is our turning point. And then if we want to find, so that's the value of x that it turns at. So um, I'll just draw a tiny little sketch here. And purple. If we have a little curve there, then this point is 1. That's what it means there, that it turns at x is equal to 1. Does that make sense? Okay, but they're asking for the turning point. So we're going to have to go further. We're going to have to take this value of x back in here to find our y value as well. So we're going to find this bit here. So what, what value in the y-axis it has so we can find the coordinate for that point. Does that make sense? So we're going to say we're going to say y is equal to 3 by 1 squared minus 6 by 1 plus 10, which is equal to 3 minus 6 plus 10, which is equal to uh, 7. Okay, so obviously this sketch here is just rough. I should have drawn the x-axis much lower down. But the idea is that the turning point of this curve here is 1, 7. Okay, and the, the whole idea of the video, I guess, so that's your end answer. But the whole idea is just to learn this one, this one sentence here, that dy dx is equal to 0 at a turning or a stationary point. So if they ask you, to find the turning or stationary point, you find dy dx, 
and you let it equal to zero, and then you solve for x. You find what x is equal to when this whole thing is equal to zero. Does that make sense? Just always remember that at a turning point or a stationary point, dy dx is equal to zero, and it's because of this thing here that the, the tangent is going to be flat. Yeah? So dy dx is always the tangent, it's always going to be flat at the turning point. Okay, uh, I hope this video helped.